How to use Google Trends to find products to sell. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. For today's video, we will be diving into the world of market research and discover how you can use Google Trends to find hot and trending products to sell. Google Trends is a powerful tool provided by Google that allows you to explore the popularity of search term and topics over time. It provides valuable insights into what people are searching for and helps you identify emerging, pro emerging trends and interests. In this tutorial, we'll show you how you could use the power of Google Trends to uncover product ideas that have high demand and potential for success. So let's get started. Now right now what you are seeing is Google Trends. You can simply search in Google, Google Trends and you will be able to reach this website. Now what we're going to use Google Trends for is for any e-commerce platform or any dropshipping ideas that you have. So for me, I'm going to use Google Trends to help me create or generate an idea on what I should sell on my dropshipping platform. So for today's video, we will be using Google Trends and of course Printify as a dropshipping website over here. So what I suggest we should do first is think of a category that we would like to sell products about. For example, we're going to think of sport. Now what is sport? We don't all know what sport is, but we're going to select a country and search for the sport that is famous in that country. For example, we're going to open a new tab and we're going to search famous sports in Japan. And click on enter and we're going to see the results. As you can see here, we have baseball, sumo, sumo, soccer, judo, karate, basketball, tennis, golf, and kendo over here. So we're simply going to look for or choose a specific sport being played in Japan. And then we're going to go to our Google Trends over here. We're going to select our country. We're going to go and look for the country of Japan. So we're going to see, and this is the country of Japan, select that. And we're going to search for the specific sports that we have selected. So for example, we're going to select Kendo. I'm going to go here and we're going to type in Kendo. Just like that. And you're going to select the Kendo Martial Arts. And let's see if people are looking for or searching for the specific keyword or if the keyword or the martial art itself is being searched by a lot of people. As you can see here, this is the interest over time. It is growing up and dropping over here. As you can see, a lot of people has been searching in this section. There is over a hundred or exactly a hundred searches at this section over here. You can see it's going to drop down and drop over here, but I think it's a consistent search result for the specific topic we can also download this or click on embed over here to see more or you can use this data for other things so we could actually check out if we could see how long or edit the length of our interest over here let's see what happens in the past five years as you can see here it's been going up and down the most famous one was during 2019 but what we're going to focus on is for this month at least for the past 30 days because we're looking for a topic that is trending or a topic that is uh talked about enough so that we will be able to receive some sales about the specific sport so as you can see here it has been rising up it's 100 searches per day over here on may 14 i think this is a good enough topic for the meantime we will have this japan as you can see here also you can see the interest per region you can see it in this section the most search section is nagasaki prefectures prefecture over here so we're going to go with this topic because as you can see it has been gaining interest so i think we'll be able to gain some sales if we focus on japan and focus on the specific sport so what we're going to do is we're going to go to canva we're going to use Canva to generate or design a uh, design for us to use in our drip drop shipping section over here. So we're going to log into our Printify for a quick second. Now, as you can see, we have currently logged in. What we're going to do next is we're going to choose a product that we would like to create our design of. We have all of this option. We have clothing, accessories, and home living over here. So for me, for example, I would like to create a design of Kendo on a t-shirt. So we're going to go with t-shirts over here, a very plain design. And we're going to choose from these options over here. We're going to go with the first one. We're not going to get into the idea of what type of product we would like. But for you, you should choose or maybe think of a product that you would like 
for your design over here so for us we're going to go with a t-shirt for now and we're going to select any print providers over here and now over here this is where we're going to put in the design that we are be going to be creating in canva so we're going back here click on create design and i'm going to choose instagram square because i really like a square design so that's for my preferences so we're going to start creating a design that focuses on the sport kendo so over right here we have our design this is where we will be editing our design so we're going to click on our elements over here and we're simply going to search for kendo we should think of an idea or like a focus for our design we could have a minimalist a cartoonist or very contently feel design so it's up to us so we're going to look for a design that could fit our idea for me i'm going to go with a minimalist design so we're simply going to search for a design or element over here that we could apply to a minimalist for example we're going to go with this one we have this as our design over here we could make this a bit centered just like that and then we could choose an extra design we're going to think of a design we could think of japan as the flag japan we could search up the flag of japan and we could put this over here on the background we could drag this just like that and we could change the background color to even more white so that it's more whiter just like that we could change the position to the back just like that and then we could put our character over here in the middle we could change the color to white instead you can see that's that looks much better and we could put the character in the middle just like that and adjust it even more just like that and we could add more design if you would like maybe this one if you would like depends on what you would like your design to be for me i'm just going to create random designs for us to use i'm going to turn this to black just like that and we have this you could put it on a location that you would like Put it over here just like that and we're going to put it over here now we could add and look for more designs as we could add depending on how you would like your design to be it completely up to you so we're simply going to look for designs even more if we could look for more designs that we could use for our design over here search for japan once again let's see if anything pops up in our graphic that we would like to use We could actually change our design over here. We're going to use this instead as our main design. I'm going to drag this just like that. And we could change the background to maybe black. And we're going to fix uh, the position of our different layers. We're going to put this on top. We're going to put this character on top as well. And we could make this smaller just like that. And we could put this in this section over here and just like that and now we have a very simple design we're not going to go too much details into the design we're just going to have this and we're going to download this and have a transparent background click on download and now our design is downloading now going back here we're going to have to set the color of our design we're going to upload our design from canva after it finished downloading so we're going to wait for it and we're simply going to click on upload from my device select our design just like this going to wait for it and now we have our design on our t-shirt over here we're going to make this bigger just like that and we're actually going to change the color of our shirt because the colors is not the what the color we like and just like that we have our design over here adjust it a bit in the middle and just like that you can also add more designs to the back side if you would like but for now we're going to stick with this one click on save product and now we can see different mockups over here as you can see the mockup for our designs and what you can simply do now is you can simply upload this to a store that you have an e-commerce store a drop shipping store depending on what you have you could connect printify with any type of store like shopify ebay or etsy stuff like that and you can stick with this design you download this and you can upload this and see if you are going to have some sales that's it that's a very simple way to use Google Trends to help you with your product decision making to choose what type of product that you would sell the, the, the topic the theme or like the idea of what type of product you would like to sell and that's it guys hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching